Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, we get into the third exercise of my IRATA Level 3 reassessment. Let's get into it. In January, I did my Level 3 reassessment in Poland at Go Ropes. At Go Ropes, they provide IRATA training and GWO training, all kinds of stuff, basically similar as to what I do for industrial climber in the Netherlands. Uh, this is Lukas. Lukas was my trainer and he guided me through the whole week with six other level threes of various levels and skills. And we had a huge group out there, total of 14 people divided up per level and Lukas was my trainer or our trainer. And he put me through some very fun exercises. And this one is, well, I will tell you, I will run the video and I will tell you in the video what we are going to do. Like with the previous ones, I was not operating at the proper level. I made it through the exercise, of course, but it could have been better. But uh, I run the video and you can see where I kind of... Eh, is this allowed or is it not allowed? I made it safe, but what do you say? All right, let's run the video. Here we go. Exercise number two, vertical A climb. Get to the back, descend down on a fresh set of ropes, pass some nuts. Let's go. Here are my ropes that I'll be taking up. I could use a bag or anything, but right now I'm just doing it like this. Taking them with me. I will be doing this in a different way than what I'm used to because we have to experiment every once in a while. Let's see if this works. I will take one foot loop. So I never have my cow stills like this. Let's start from this position. I don't think I will make it, but let's see what what will happen. Because it's training, I'm also experimenting a little bit with different setups and trying to figure out new ways. So this is a, also a video about how you adapt on the fly. And I've not seen the video yet. I just put the GoPro footage into a timeline and I'm watching it for the first time. So it's quite a while back. I'm not sure I remember everything I did, so let's see what will happen. So I'm sort of figuring out the system and the way to clip things, clipping through the left or to the right. And if I remember correctly, I'll start talking when I figure out the rhythm. I would like this shorter, I think, but now it's dynamic. Ah. Step up, sit down, and then let's go long. Short, there's a certain rhythm to it. Just don't like me clipping the cow tool almost. 
it into the carabiner. Now this is where a lot of people screw up because they tend to go like this but we keep the same long long short route so to not get confused which means I first need to go long up and what was I saying long long short so the next one will be this going that way I'm not gonna skip any steps Long, long short. Next one will be this one. Short one. Next one will be So now we switch from always with the, the famous error. Because now I'm going from vertical to up. I wanted to go like this, but right now the short one needs to move in between all right i like to eight time with two foot loops so i will get my second foot loop ah, i remember what i uh, forgot to do on this little assignment stand up move this now i'm seeing the back long long short so we're at the short stage and then short. So I have two anchor points. I need to make a fir third first. Here. Right here. Ah, thought twice difficult, but it's called behind. So I haven't eight point like this in like 10 years maybe. So it feels a lot different. Instead of with I a Grion. Grion. And I could gain more yeah. height. But you have to practice a little bit. Alright. I need to rescue the casualty and come down with the casualty. Install one rope. Install second rope. It's around because we always like that stuff. Gravity loaded. I will do it like this because I want to see what happens if I can make it this tight. Fun times. So, get into the T cylinder. No, I will do it different. I'm not going to do this. I want the space here. Yeah, it's funny if you practice in a certain spot, like your own training center. Not my own, but the spot I train at. You're so used to certain situations and setups. Right. It's not gravity loaded. Doesn't really matter. That's better. Two points of contact, megawatts and a cow as a backup. And right now I'm noticing something. I, get I think short connection. Ah, oh, not not yet. Which is behind me somewhere. Here we go. And it's gonna go up in here. And from here into here. So that's a really big lower, and I don't want to do it like that. All right.
morning, I hope. Just a quick interruption in the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to always be notified of a new upload. If you want to support the channel, you can head over to www.patreon.com slash channel and sign up for the level one tier. That way you can really support the channel by buying me a cup of coffee when you go sit down and watch this video. Thank you very much. Check it again. I'm in the right position. It's done properly. The back in is so locked. I can start cleaning up stuff that I do not need. But first, the get out of chill free card. Le Grand Grillon. Le Grillon. You can always use it for something. And right now I will be using it to get a controlled lower of the casualty or bag in this case. try something new that I did not figure out myself, but just for fun, i go through here. Not through here. Not through here. There was uh, someone in the course recently who did something similar to this, so... I thought, well, let's give it a try and see what happens. Go to top point, road management. We manage that again. We want to move that side. Nothing in between. Point one, block carabiner. Get the short reaction. I am treating those rings as unquestionably reliable harness rings. The square mayons. And I usually use like the foot cord by Petzl, the this thin one. It has less friction, which is good on the way with the counterbalance when you're lifting because you have less friction but when you want to hold the load statically to solve some issues then it's heavier because it has less friction so the friction can be an advantage when you want to hold a load hold a load but can be a disadvantage when you want to lift a load or experiment a little and this is going to be a little bit of an experiment Just to see what happens. I think it will be not that hard actually. But if I go like this, open that. Put my foot in the foot loop. So I don't have a lot of room there. But let's see what happens. I will stand. So now we get that stuck. I couldn't lift far enough because the steel buckle was against the carabiner. Uh, let's see what I did to solve that. That's why I usually have the other one. Ah, okay. Easiest way would have been to go over the beam I suspended on, but because that's too easy, we're not doing that. Trying to make it as short as possible. <laughs> so I've never tried some... it, so playing around, eh? That's the best place to try, yeah? I'm going through the anchor point right now because it's a rounded anchor point. Gave myself a little bit of uh, room. It doesn't look... It could look stuck. What is ah. 
Then I sit back down, analyze what's happening, and I can see it right now. If I do the twist like this, then yeah. I need to put it in. There's little details, yeah? Now I'm twisting it the wrong way. I want to twist it like this. I should go. That's it. And like this, and then it should work better. Because now the angles should be better. And now. It's going up far enough, but having that foot loop, the foot loop actually goes in front of the carabiner's gate, so it's hard to take out the rope. Got it. Tighten the green a little bit more. So while doing this, I kept the casualty on his green and on two points towards me at all times. Now I can take off more. And just lower it onto yourself. When you have now I can just lower it onto me. Yeah, easy. It's sort of smooth. Quite alright. You can leave this for now. Take it out here. Take it on with me. So now my big mistake. What shall I tell you? Or should we wait? Now my big mistake is I made an assumption that the uh, bag was dressed up like a regular rope deck, like with an ID and an ASAP and a cowtail, oh it did have cowtail and a tumor. But it was only a bag with two cowtails, nothing else. So I'm gonna have to solve passing the nuts without any extra gear basically. Not a second no, no, descender. And again, multiple options. But I think I will do something that might be a little bit outside of the regular or intended uses okay. of the devices. Let's see if I remember so correctly. Now we have some nuts coming up. Let's have a smooth, smooth. Have some space. Well, the easiest way to pass the knots, in my opinion, is just move the knot up. This is going to be one big ass butterfly. And I usually do it like this just make a big butterfly where you put the old butterfly in or the, with the broken part. In another butterfly, I can easily pass through. That's too easy, you know. uh, now I'm realizing I don't have an extra descender. Yeah. Why not? I'm thinking, oh damn it! Pay attention! That's cool. I'm going to 
call this video how not to pass the nuts with your casualty, I think. Fairly simple solution. So what I want to try to do is to not descend in the grillon or with the grillon. I'm going to descend into it right now, but I want to stay at the same level. And I've tried to don't look at me. Gauge. <laughs> Gauge all the distances so I can retrieve the Grion. I was going, the casualty has everything, but the casualty is just a bag with nothing, so I don't have an extra descender. So, next time I think about it. <laughs> I hope, let's see what happens. <laughs> So, and I move the, my back up from the greenish rope onto the blue rope. It was stuck on the knot, so that's why I had to step up a little bit to unclip it from the harness. Go down a little bit more. I go down a little bit more and descend into that crayon. I don't know. I will ask when I'm on the ground. I don't think we actually discuss this afterwards. It's static. What do you think? Generally, it's too complicated for me. Yeah, I, f I forget stuff, so that's why I'm trying to solve problems that I should not create in the first place. This is the limit of points and it's uh, allowed uh, hanging on the green on, it's no problem. But two persons on one green on, but uh, hanging. Hanging on the green on. But now I'm going descending. But now I go... But this is like almost tension, so... On the exam I will put the friction carabiner in for this little bit. So. so if I would be a brand new level one, but I agree completely. Or level three, too complicated. I would not I allow myself I I, to the, do it like this. The dummy has everything, but the dummy had nothing. <laughs> That's why I. Uh, I use uh, two descenders, one upstairs. Yeah, 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 me too, yeah. But I thought I would take them from the back, but, but the back not have anything. That's gonna go. I do have two backups, so that's nice. And I learned where to put the backup too, huh? Referring to the video you can watch up in the corner, I'm gonna put it down below, but the thing is up there somewhere. The live stream I did, where I ended up on sort of single point of attachment, but not really. Because all the points of our harness are unquestionably reliable. So, let me finish this. Up okay. Safely to the ground. So, what did we learn here? That assumption is the mother of all. Yes, fuck ups. Because I just went up assuming that the, the like the casualty had what do you call it? All the gear on it, like a descender and an A set and all that stuff. So I did not bring a second descender. I did have my Grion. So, somebody told me a few weeks ago, I think it was Willem, the Grion is a get out of jail free card basically. 
really a bit worse. You can always solve everything. You can solve a lot of things with the Grion. Oh. Yeah, so that's one of the best tools ever, the Grion. So, another fun little exercise. And like I said, if I would be a brand new level three, trying these kinds of exercises for the first time, I, as a trainer, would make sure that I have that the level three has all the gear to do it properly. The hard thing for trainers or instructors is when you have guys like me who are experienced and want to experiment with stuff and sometimes stand on the ground and look at it and go like, well, we'll see what happens, let's try it. If I don't have it, enough gear, I will solve it. It's a very dangerous line to walk because as an instructor, you have to be sure that you're level three knows exactly what he's doing and that ending up in a wrong situation a lot of the times and solving the problems isn't getting into the way of learning a proper method of doing the hard it thing without for trainers or instructors problems. is when you have guys like me, me i know that if i experience i'm doing it one to experiment and make sure stuff, i have all the gear if i need it i'll take a and look at it and go like well, we'll see backup. what happens let's try i know how to do if it if i don't have it well, enough gear in training i, I like it. to challenge myself it's so, a very Dangerous this line to walk because as an instructor you have to be sure uh, that you are the third video level three the knows exercise, exactly the fourth what video. he's doing and that in total and the live stream in a wrong situation videos a lot of the times and, and in the, the problems actually I think isn't in the, getting into the way of in the first three or all the videos I've published so far including the live stream it. without every time I made problems. like a so for me a I know that if I call or an error or something that was not really an assessment eh, not so I so make so sure I have all this the gear if I need it I'll take a wrong judgment or a call and I just assume the bag had everything and I went up without really looking at it in training I like to use minimal gear so by this using my casualties gear. The so third exercise. I was thinking I'm uh, using. Well, the third I video I did on the exercise and use my casualties gear. The fourth gear, video didn't have anything. So, but in, in the end, I saw the live problem. stream. I went. We went two with previous two videos. We descended and this one. into the Grillon. We were static there. I moved my descent at a megawatt over to the new rope, and then I descend a little bit with a two-person load in the Grillon. Not the way I would do it on an assessment, but I think, in a, especially if this would be for real, perfectly fine, do it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to always be notified of a new video. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that by heading over to Patreon and become a level one member. All right, I will see you in the next one. Stay connected, peace.